It's kind of like putting your business on life support. You're just kind of keeping some breath going. That's yeah. how owner of well, Toast, Amy are. Russo, that's describes crazy. being open for just takeout and delivery. She can't wait to get word that in-house dining is allowed, even with reduced capacity. I would like to see any percent. You know, if they told me that it's 25 percent, I would love that. Tells us her dining room will look different less when it happens. A uh, lot less tables. And less on them. No condiment caddies, utensils pre-wrapped in plastic, possibly disposable menus, or plastic ones that can be cleaned. All this and more part of the New Jersey Restaurant and Hospitality Association's Safe Dining Reopening Plan. President Mary Lou Halverson. And other than the healthcare industry, Nobody's better at sanitation than restaurants. This just takes it to the next level. They will see additional people on the floor cleaning. They will notice that tables will be much more thoroughly, totally sanitized. Even if the smiles get masked. Here in Jersey City, there might be trade-offs to make sure restaurants not only reopen, but can stay open successfully. Might lose some parking spaces in order to kind of create the sidewalk and the outdoor seating. Mayor Stephen Phillips says Jersey City may also extend hours. Liquor licenses, or maybe a little bit of a gentle touch on outdoor liquor sales. Across the board, restaurateurs believe more outdoor seating is critical to boosting business. This is as much psychological as it is legislative. If customers feel comfortable, they'll take a seat and order up exactly what the restaurant industry needs and soon. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News.